the Voyager spacecraft are still reaching for the stars. In August and September 2017, NASA's Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft will mark their 40th anniversaries as space explorers. The two spacecraft are still sending data back to Earth and setting space exploration milestones despite their vast distance from our planet. The Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 spacecraft were launched in 1977 to take advantage of an alignment of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune that made it possible to use gravitational assists to explore the planets in a much shorter time. This alignment appears once every 175 years. Voyager 2 was launched earlier than Voyager 1. It is the only spacecraft to have conducted flybys of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Voyager 1 took a shorter but faster trajectory that used a gravity assist maneuver at Saturn to take it out of the solar system. In 2012, Voyager 1 became the first spacecraft to cross into interstellar space. It is still transmitting data at a distance of almost 13 billion miles away from Earth. Voyager 2 is in the space known as the Heliosheath, almost 11 million miles from Earth. That spacecraft is expected to enter interstellar space in the next few years. Each spacecraft carries a gold-plated record of sounds, pictures, and messages about Earth, just in case some intelligent ETs find them someday. Don't let YouTube ad bots dictate what Toma News reports. Support us at patreon.com slash Toma News. Stay here for more on NASA's planned space adventures. Asteroid apocalypse? Nah, we'll pass. Seems the folks at NASA are worried about a giant asteroid bringing about humanity's end, and have unveiled plans for what to do about it. Asteroids crash into the Earth regularly, but they're usually small enough that they burn up in the atmosphere. However, bigger space rocks could cause significant damage if they were to hit the planet. To try to prevent such a calamity, NASA has designed the Double Asteroid Redirection Test. Its target will be the asteroid system Didymos, which consists of a smaller rock orbiting a much larger companion. NASA's plan is to launch a refrigerator-sized spacecraft at the smaller Didymos B when the asteroids approach Earth in October 2022. The spacecraft will be traveling at 3.7 miles per second when it hits the asteroid. The collision is meant to eventually shift the rock's orbit by changing its speed, a tactic known as the kinetic impactor technique. Scientists on Earth will then study the impact and effect of the test on Didymos B to determine if the strategy is a feasible way to save the planet from more dangerous asteroids. NASA wants to explore a metal asteroid worth 10 quintillion US dollars. NASA says it plans to launch the Psyche mission one year earlier than planned. The mission will explore the metal asteroid called 16 Psyche. The 16 Psyche asteroid is located in the asteroid belt between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. This asteroid is primarily made of iron and nickel. The amount of iron in the asteroid is said to be worth around 10 quintillion US dollars. This is a value exponentially higher than the combined GDP of every country on Earth, which totaled about 74 trillion dollars in 2015. The Psyche mission is expected to be launched in the summer of 2022, and it will arrive at the asteroid in 2026. It will perform science operations from four staging orbits, with the closest orbit only 45 to 128 kilometers above the asteroid. The spacecraft's instrument payload includes multi-spectral imagers, a gamma ray and neutron spectrometer, magnetometers, and an X-band radio telecommunication system. The objective of the mission includes determining whether the asteroid is an exposed core or if it is unmelted material. Researchers also hope to find the relative ages of regions of the asteroid's surface and to characterize its topography. The mission design team developed a trajectory for the mission that eliminates the need for an Earth gravity assist and allows the spacecraft to stay further away from the Sun. This shortens the original timeline by four years. We're going to the Sun. NASA is planning an ambitious new mission to touch the Sun that will supposedly revolutionize our understanding of the Yellow Dwarf Star. Solar Probe Plus is set to launch in summer 2018 and will orbit within 4 million miles of the Sun's surface, closer than any spacecraft has approached before. The probe will be equipped with a carbon composite heat shield to help it withstand temperatures of more than 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. 
It will collect data from the corona, the sun's outer atmosphere, to help solve the mystery of why it's millions of degrees hotter than the surface. Scientists aim to study solar activity in detail, particularly how solar winds are accelerated. This could improve forecasts of space weather events, which can shake the Earth's magnetic field and impact satellite communications, astronaut safety, power grids, and radiation on flights. NASA is in the process of building the Solar Probe Plus and has already installed key elements, including the cooling system. Hey, Tomo Sapiens! Help us beat the ad bots by joining our Patreon News Squad at patreon.com slash tomonews. NASA might start sending people back into space sooner than expected. NASA seems to be taking a cue from Trump, taking a bolder, riskier approach after the president made it apparent he wanted the U.S. to retain its dominance in space. Since the end of the space shuttle program, NASA has relied on Russia to send its astronauts into space. The agency's acting administrator announced Wednesday that it's thinking of sending astronauts on a space mission earlier than planned, possibly within Trump's first term in office. NASA's Space Launch System rocket was originally slated to go on its first exploration mission in 2018 with an unmanned space capsule. This timeline calls for the SLS to be launched from the Kennedy Space Center on September 30th, carrying the Orion space capsule into space in a mission known as EM-1. The capsule would orbit the moon for about three weeks before returning to Earth, splashing down into the ocean with the help of parachutes. A second crewed mission was scheduled for 2021, but with new plans considering the addition of a crew to EM-1, it seems astronauts could be going on the Orion as early as 2019. For that, NASA needs an SLS rocket with a more powerful second stage, known as the Exploration Upper Stage, or EUS. But though the design for EUS has been approved, it has yet to be built. Another hurdle the agency needs to overcome is human rating the Orion space capsule, which at the moment is still missing key life support systems. NASA may be enthusiastic about its latest move, but it's unclear how NASA will meet program schedules, especially given its limited budget. NASA's laser-powered spacecraft aims to reach Mars in 72 hours. NASA scientist Philip Lubin is working on perfecting laser technology that could propel a light spacecraft to Mars in as little as three days. Photons emitted from excited atoms in a laser have energy and momentum, which forms the basis of laser-based propulsion. Photons are released in a beam from a laser. When photons from a laser array reflect off an object, their energy is translated into a push that's capable of moving objects like a spacecraft. Rather than using a giant laser a la the Death Stars, researchers imagine an array made up of a large number of amplifiers that sync up and act like one big laser. The spacecraft launched with this technology will include a robotic probe and a large reflective sail. The spacecraft will be light because no fuel is needed. And this spacecraft could be accelerated to 30% the speed of light, which was previously unheard of. This technology could produce enough momentum to get a robotic spacecraft to Mars in three days and send a manned shuttle to Mars in a month. Using photonic propulsion, interstellar travel may be possible, and we could get a probe to Earth's nearest star, Alpha Centauri, in as little as 15 years. In comparison, our current technology takes four to eight months to get to Mars. It took 37 years for the Voyager 1 spacecraft to reach the edge of our solar system.